Generic greetings and welcome back to Tastemaker. Today's beverage is a nice cup of chamomile tea. So in a previous video of Tastemaker, we started a restaurant. We actually built it uh, from the ground up and put the walls and doors in and everything. And we managed to get the full three star rating on the first scenario. So pretty happy with that. The second scenario is Route 66. Save a failing restaurant. Let's see what this is like. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be pre-built. and Oh, it is, yes. So we are ooh, in a bit of a precarious position. It says... Scenario, um, easy is get out of debt, 400 to go, medium, make 500 coins of profit in a month, and hard, make 800 coins of profit in a month, so 800 to go. And I can tell we've got a little bit of an issue because of the overall design of the thing. Uh, we do have an entrance, which is a good thing. That is all right. Let's go ahead and see here. Yeah, we've got we've got a lot of a lot of potatoes. So that's all right. I was just about to press delete there, and that would pretty much be an immediate failure state for the game, wouldn't it? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is rotate this around, and I'm going to move the serving table, because I want this uh, in about there. Serving table can stay where it is, the dishwasher can go in that corner, and obviously we've got some items, like the fryer for example, that are just well, slightly in the wrong place, shall we say. Um, and when I say slightly in the wrong place, I mean, well, they really shouldn't be... <laughs> they really shouldn't be uh, where it was. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start thinking about the positioning of some of these tables and chairs. So we can see we've got multiple tables and chairs. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six tables, I think, yes. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, twelve chairs. So we could go for a straight up two by two build let's just go ahead and go to move rotate that around actually what i'll have to do is probably move these first you can see that when we place them oh, that's actually snapping so we'll have to move that yeah when we place these it connects up to the wall which is quite nice i do like the little details of that that can rotate around that can rotate around and i think we're going to have a similar scenario like we had previously where we're not going to have the room for everything. I'm just going to get rid of all of these and place them like that. Because I can't place it along that way. But I can do I can do that if I need to. I like the way... Oh yeah, I like the idea of having like a booth or something in this corner. Um, we could move it over. Nice nice little booth over here. Yeah, that's fine. Nice little booth. And there we go. Jukebox can go right in there I would say and we're sort of a bit stuck as to where we can place the other things actually I will pull I will move these away I think putting them back there was probably the way forward right against the wall yeah that's fine and do you want to just place those in like that there's no reason why we can't that's a very basic layout and we still got two chairs remaining uh, two tables remaining should I say maybe if we just place them like this then have it like that and then see that doors just it's just in the wrong place sadly mm. the only thing I could possibly do is move this down Move them down like that. At least moving them down, the customers will be able to see out the window, <laughs> which is a good thing. And then this one. Well, I don't know where to place this table. Can't really place it there. Unless I wanted to purposely move these around. I think I'm just moving the problem around is the great shame of it, really. In fact, what I've managed to do is have an even worse layout. I think that's about right. Let's go ahead then and add some fries to the menu. You can see we've got loads of different things on the menu here. We've got nuggets. Oh, we've only got fries. That's the only thing we can sell. I'm going to put the price up a little bit, and I'm going to hire an employee. Just a singular employee, and max speed out, and we have some customers. 
So that's good. We have 17 fries. Sorry, 17, uh, 16 potatoes now. I will have to get some more plates. I want to max out on plates. And I want to start getting some more potatoes and put it on repeat. Obviously, I don't know how many we'll need. But I'll just keep an eye on it. I know there was uh, some desire to play on the sandbox mode to get to build like a restaurant from scratch. And I do like that idea. Um, I'm just attempting the scenarios first because it's sort of like training, isn't it? And it's just a bit more variety there. So we got uh, how many customers? Five so far. Yeah, it's, it's fluctuating. But at least we are hopefully going to get out of debt. It seems to be that there's no failure state in terms of cash. It's not as if you go to a certain point and then that's it, you're gone, bankrupt. Um, which is good. The disadvantage... Actually, can we build? Uh, the, the, the disadvantage is that, obviously, if you're really failing as a restaurant, you're never going to have the positive money, which means you can't build anymore. So you can, you can I guess, spend yourself into uh, oblivion. And you'll be in so much debt that you can't uh, ever dig yourself out of it. You can... You can buy land. We can we can buy land if need be. The objectives, as we've seen, are to basically make profit. So I'm just trying to get the easy one first. Oh, ingredients shortage. We have no ingredients. Should have been keeping a uh, better. Should have been keeping an eye out for that one a bit better. Not enough fries to keep up with demand. Yeah, we got one, two, we got seven, eight customers now. Eight customers in total. So we need. More fryers, and we need more. <laughs> to be fair, we need more uh, more ingredients. But we are serving this up, and you can see that. Oh, sadly, satisfaction is going down. The jukebox isn't playing, but it does provide a really good bonus, positive bonus there. Not enough fries to keep up with demand. Yeah, well, I would love to get another fryer. Sadly, it's not going to happen, considering that we are currently. Um, minus <laughs> currency. There's some reviews there. They're all three stars. The same that could use toilets, and the same the menu is too small. Okay, well, I can't do anything about the... Well, either of that, because I can't even get any chicken. And I probably do need to expand as well. Storage racks are full. Yeah, that's fine. Um, can we just set that storage rack to just store... You can set it to just store one thing if need be. Oh, but at least we've got one rating. So that's make 500 coins of profit in a month. Profit is currently two, uh, 248, that said. So that's fine. Uh, new review is, again, three stars by Tatiana. Quincy left as a three-star rating as well. We'll most likely then get, I think... A fryer. I think fryer is the way to go. We're now in positive money. There you go. We're under 33 generic units of currency. And people are people are waiting. But people are being served as well. Which is obviously the main thing. And another fryer will very much help out. Storage racks are full. That is fine. Don't really care. It just means that we're not cooking enough. <laughs> so with the fryer in then. We should be getting more people through. Maximum seating is 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, of course it's going to be 12 because it's the same amount of seats. Don't know why I needed to count that, but I did. Just double checking. <laughs> so that's all working well. Okay, what I'll do then is I think we will put in some... We'll put in some... Well, we need to expand for a start. You can see people are queuing up here. Hang on, is that... That says Route 66, but that is literally backwards. <laughs> okay. I assume the sign doesn't work like that, but there you are. We're going to hire another employee because some people are saying they're, they're too overworked. So we'll hire that. And saying storage racks are full. But people are being served. This is good. I will increase the decor, I think, by putting in some flowers on each of the tables. Obviously, it requires... 50 each, so these are very expensive flowers. But hopefully increasing those will 
make more people turn up, which means we can also just nudge the price up a little bit. Just nudge that up just a just a wee bit, just a wee bit. Another review. Janny, four stars. The menu's too small. And Brent needs some extra toilets. Yeah, I think I think both are very valid. Very valid uh, suggestions there. Okay, what I'll do is I will go for the... I'll build the toilets first. So I'm going to buy land. And... Oh, can we not buy land? We can't buy land. What we can do... Is build upstairs. Alright. So this is where... It's a bit different. Because we can now do multiple stories. More cash. Oh, and we're on negative now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it, doesn't, it seems that we can't buy land. And a long queue is forming. Interesting. But we can build upstairs. But that means we need a stairwell. Uh, we'll put the stairwell here, I think. Most likely. Then we'll have toilets upstairs. Can we go basement? No, we can't. <laughs> All right, there we are. So there's that in. I will have to put the prices up again. Let's say have to, don't have to, but I am putting the prices up again. And I need to think about where the stairs are going to be. The stairs are going to go up here. So I'll shift that chair as soon as I can. Let's move that inside. The stairwell, sadly, is quite expensive at 400. But it's going to go there. No, it'll have to go there, won't it? It won't be able to go there. It'll have to go there. Where's a better place for it, then? Mm. There's no real good place for it. Oh, there. There's a nice place. For the Certainly for the, for the people cooking. It means shifting... couple of tables and chairs. This one. Oh, there's the medium. That's good. Let's just shift these in. I'll put that back because I think we're going to keep that one. Let me just moving these. Again, moving them all in the inside. Or moving them upstairs. Oh, where's that gone? It's there. Let's move it to there for now. I just need it out the way. <laughs> and move that. And move that. And now I can move that. And stairs. We've got stairs in. Right, good. We can keep these down here, actually, if we really wanted to. Um, yeah, I could put that in there. Could do that. It's a bit cramped, but it fits in. And this chair... I'm going to place there. It's a little bit <laughs> all over the place downstairs, but it's in. It's in. Right, so upstairs we need to do a couple of things. I'm a bit concerned, though, that we can't... We can't expand at all. Is that right? Land not owned. And we are unable to buy land. Yes, yeah, so the problem being is that... It doesn't matter what we've got here. Oh, there's a table there. I should probably just get rid of that. The problem being that we still can't go upstairs. Um, well, we can go upstairs with food, but we've only got a certain amount of storage, haven't we? Unless I put another... Maybe another bit of kitchen in. It means extend, extending the kitchen. I don't know how it would do that. We'll extend it across. Like that. I could do that. It adds a little bit more in, but probably not enough. Let's have a quick look at our meals. We're not going to make bread because it requires an oven and a mixer. Pizza is the same thing. Nuggets we can get. Steak we can't get. But we could probably do it. There's no way we're getting a burger. Wine we could. And soup we could. But it requires more. 
I'm probably going to go for nuggets and wine. So let's go ahead and get in a fridge. Let's have a look. Fridge in here. And I want nuggets, just max out the nuggets. And for wine, we'll increase, we'll get wine as well. There you go. And let's see if any of that helps. Upstairs then, you can see this is where they come up. We'll have toilets at the back. Mm, or maybe not. Why do I want toilets? Um, I think here is sufficient for two toilets will be there and probably there yeah and then we'll have obviously everything we need inside the toilet generally a toilet I'll get there I'll get there eventually and there we go. We now have toilets. It's also slot machines as well. I'm a bit concerned that this here, can we not have like a half wall? I'm not seeing one. Well, there's people using the toilet at least. Restaurant is alright. Decoration is good, but the menu is too small. Well, let's add nuggets to the menu and wine to the menu. Oh, we need wine glasses. Right, that makes sense. Um... We've got wine, but we're not serving it. That's a bit of a concern, actually. Because wine... The problem with that is if we're not serving it, what can I do? Where can I put another another counter? I'm going to have to put another counter in. It means we won't have enough fryers. I might have to put storage elsewhere. Like storage upstairs, which is a bit strange. <laughs> It'd be nice if we can have like, a something upstairs to cook and then bring stuff up and down like with a a dolly or is it a dumb waiter I think it's called I'm not sure but we do need to get some wine glasses but we just don't have enough storage I mean we can't reduce the amount of plates that we have so yeah it is a case of getting in a, a cabinet which we can't afford yet and we need to hire more staff we're getting some dirty floors. And there's a clean plate storage, is there? Yeah, there is. Uh, store, there's a clean plate shortage, should I say. But we'll get some wine glasses in. There's that. And then I'll go to our tableware. Max out on the wine glasses. But we've got nuggets on... Nuggets selling. We've got fries selling. And we'll have wine shortly. Which we're going to put the price up on most things. And add to the menu. There we go. Oh, there we go. Glass of wine. Good. This is being served. Um, right. So, toilets are in. I, I think I am going to build up here. Might be a bit strange, but I'm building... Along like so. And what we're going to have up here. <laughs> it's a bit strange this one. But we're going to have a, a staff door. Staff door. In there. We're going to have storage. Like that. And a fridge. Up here. I need 150 for the fridge. Ingredient shortage. What's what shortage? What shortage? Let's have a quick look downstairs. It's gonna be. Oh, I was gonna say it was gonna be potatoes. It's not potatoes. It's wine. I've added six wine to that list, but I might make it eight. And there we go. Fryers are okay. You know what? I don't think we need. I don't think we need another. 
I don't think we need another fridge upstairs, but we do need a cabinet and more wine glasses, I think. Let's do that. Let's get in three more glasses. I don't want to max it out because if we have a problem, then we're, yeah, there might be some, a little bit of bother there. Let's knock our prices up as well because we've got a big queue farming here. Hire another employee. And I want to take care, how's decor? Decor is actually all right. And the fridges are full, yeah. You see the wine's not getting sold. But is the wine not getting sold, is that a supply problem? Like a glass problem? <laughs> oh wow, look at that queue. Oh, the queue's massive, right. Um, standard procedure then. Price goes up. I just keep an eye on that. Decor's good there. Hygiene's not so good, but it's getting sorted. Upstairs, hygiene's good, but there's no decor. So I'll have to put some, for a start, I'll put some windows in. So, one there. Basically, I'm going to copy what we've got downstairs. How much are these windows? They're actually free. And there, and there, and there, but not one there. Right. That's all in. I do want to paint it. I don't know if that's the best thing for... Oh, good grief, there's loads of people. Right, I think... Um, I think just build... more tables. More tables around. I'm going to put one either side. And then we'll have... One there, one there. Yeah, that should be fine. Got a new review. Good restaurant, and the menu was good. Four stars by Mackenzie. Thanks, Mackenzie. And just see what type of chairs and stuff we've got. They use this type of chair, I think. Yeah, they use that one. So there's people queuing up. <laughs> a lot of people queuing up. Let's just, like I say, keep just tapping the prices. See how we go. See, some people might stop. Oh, there you go. So we've seen the critical mass, probably. Oh, no, people are still queuing. People are still queuing. And they're waiting for wine and such. I hope we've got enough. Let's see. Um, 10 chickens, 12 potatoes, and wine. That's full of potatoes there. <laughs> what we like downstairs. Oh, that's about even. Yeah. I also just realised that I should probably build a cutting mat here. When we have enough money. Because it means only one person can prepare. At least the wine, all you have to do is literally pop the cork out. <laughs> or maybe screw the top open. I don't know how it's... I don't know what sort of wine we got going there. Or if it's really cheap wine. <laughs> plastic bottle. <laughs> and it comes in three litres. Uh, <laughs> might as well be having an antifreeze. Anyway. Cash is 28 there's the 50, so I'll get another another station to prep for cutting. And, oh, look at that. See that? The restaurant's completely emptied out. So reduce the price of things. Back to what? Just down a little bit. And then suddenly people will hear about this massive price change and start turning up. It seems that they randomly will go to uh, wherever they want to sit. I guess that's well, like like most uh, places like this. I guess they can go wherever they want to sit. But uh, some of them want to sit upstairs, by all accounts. So yeah, new review. This Brent, 
good restaurant. Decoration is good. Cynthia, restaurant is alright, but decoration could be improved. Waiting time is nice, my Tatiana there. So, income was 600, whereas we need to get 800 for the hard rating scenario. I guess it's just a case of get more people through the door. The problem is, there's only a finite amount of people we can have. Simply because of we can't, we can't, we can only store so much. So, we shall see. I'm wanting more seating. Of money, it's 70 each for these chairs. It's quite expensive. Guests are stuck. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, that, that does actually make them stuck if they're there. Okay, did not know that was going to happen. In that case, then I will move these around. Oh no, I can't. I'll have to just shift them about a bit. There we go. We'll hire another employee just to clean up. And there's more people coming in. Long queue is forming. Add more seats to increase or increase prices. Well, both. We're going to knock the wine up by just one generic unit of currency. This restaurant is alright but the decoration could be improved I agree, I agree actually uh, we haven't got one of our lovely painted flowers there, there we go it is now much improved and we have a dishwashing problem I think I think, it, yeah we've got plates all over the place, see that we have a dishwashing problem I don't know what the solution would be other than extend the staff areas along like that. It's possible. Extend the staff area. Build a wall out like that. I think that would make them stuck. That's Does that make them stuck like that? It shouldn't do. Deleting those and then putting in a staff door in here. I was wondering why that's not connected. Oh, then they'll probably get stuck. Yeah, they're, they're definitely stuck now. Okay, I'll shift that. Um, so we can have in here. We'll shift that to there. And we can have a dishwasher. In the corner, maybe? In there? Let's have a check. We've got enough money. Dishwasher. Let's place it there, see if that helps things. I'll have two more. I'll have two dishwashers, actually. And a lot of these are quite unhappy because of probably the time they have to wait. But at least all the... Yeah, they're all getting washed, which is the main thing. But now, we don't have many people coming through. Why is that? It's decor. Seems to be a problem. Price as well. Knock the wine down by one, and will they flood back? The question is, <laughs> do we want a, a huge amount of people? Storage racks are full. Potatoes there. We go up. Potatoes there. Oh, it's definitely full. And I think... Yeah, maybe that's one too many dishwashers. That just might be one too many dishwashers. I think we'll just have the two upstairs. And... Oh no, it's clean plate shortage. So I don't know if it is a problem. Either way, I want to pause it. Because I want to move those. No. Darn it. Every time we, uh, I try to move, fix stuff, it uh, gets... People, people start working. 
on the areas. Let's put that in there. Well, income was 778 and expenses 572. We're aiming for profit in the month. So, yeah, how are we going to be able to manage that? Well, we need more people, basically. So we need tables, we need chairs, that sort of thing. And I guess I could place that there, yeah. And then two chairs either side. One more, maybe? No, just not enough. The approvals are alright. They're not happy about the prices, but the prices I haven't really done much with. In fact, the prices are some of the lowest it's been. I'll knock the, the fries down by one. And just get more people in. You can see there seems to be like a a level where if you don't get it right, people will just not turn up. Anyway, there's all those in. There's a lot of people being served. That's good. Decor. Like that. I like another jukebox up here. Do you realise the walls there, like the skirtings curved around? It's interesting. A fish tank is seven fifty. <laughs> Not enough fries to keep up with demand. I thought that might be the case. So what I'll do is I'll probably remove one of these. Move that over. Move that over. And then have a, another fryer. At the moment, obviously, we're only serving three things. And one of them does not need to be cooked. So just keeping an eye on this. Got a clean plate shortage again, but I, is it to do with just. Yeah, they need to wash it up there. The problem is having to bring all the ingredients up and down. I don't know whether or not I need to. Perhaps put that upstairs. And can I fit another storage in here? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Uh, wait. Oh, there's a rat. Ugh. That's going to cause some bother. I'll hire another employee. And I'll set one of them. Two of them, at least, for always clean. Just make sure it's clean. Yeah, there we go. So we've got, how many staff do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight staff and only 11 customers. I don't know how we're still in business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, we could get a slot machine. Guests are stuck. Oh, right. Okay. I see. I see. We could place it like that, though. I just want to see what it's like. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, that guest is stuck, are there? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. That needs to go in there. These need to come back like this. And I'll shift that to there. Shift that to there. The customer thing, move. And then go immediately on the slot machine. <laughs> These can go back. I'm putting them back how I wanted them originally. There we go. That's a much better layout. Similar thing here. These can go in the corner. Like that. And it means that this can be shifted eventually. Okay. I'm trying to think there's a slightly better layout, but I'm not sure. Can anyone get to that chair? I'm wondering. I'm not too sure. What's the review? Cynthia, good restaurant. The decoration is good too. Hmm. Well, this person loves that slot machine. <laughs> and you do get money off it. I'm going to uh, also 
with a bit of cash. And there's a new review. Restaurant is alright. Received my food very quickly. The decoration could be improved. Alright. Well, that is very much possible. We're getting towards the scenario goal, but it's going to be a, it's going to take some time. Let's check out probably another jukebox up here would be good. Let's see how much they make off that. Three, right? So if we just stack the restaurant with them, we'll get a. A win state uh, very soon. Let's move that actually. I'm going to place it there. Right next to there. So that is a gamble if you're sitting there. If you fall off it's... Well it's not going to be good for you is it really? It's not going to be good for you. Um, a fish tank would be lovely but it's 750. It's not going to happen. A jukebox is going to go in the middle here. I think that's the way forward. Or I could place another table and chairs but I don't think we necessarily need it. You see there is space. And people are still coming. How are we doing for the objective? They make 800 coins profit in a month. Profit. They're saying they're all waiting. Well, they're getting served. They're getting served. Let's increase the decor because obviously they are all sitting around waiting. So doing that will hopefully help. Oh yeah, that person is... Really annoyed. Well, he's getting annoyed because of the shortage. And you can see I'm placing in all of these to increase the decor. Actually, does it increase decor, the curtains? I think it does. We're on 610. Yeah, we're not going to make it this month. Yeah, so profit was only 3 or 5. And we need 800. Wow, that's difficult. That's going to be difficult to achieve. And have we got no customers? No, we do have customers. So what is it we're missing then? Because everything else seems to be alright. And I don't know, I, I don't know why the price is as it is. Because we've only really been putting it down. Hmm. I'll put it back down again to try and get more people here. But then every time we do that, I guess our consumer trust goes down as well. Because we currently have, I think, more staff. No, no, we have 20 customers. You can see we have more staff than we have... Um, people in here. Long queues are forming. See, we, I just altered that by one thing and then it's immediately spammed us with loads of people. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be altering the deck or at all. But I'm going to have to finish it off now because we've got the majority of it done. But we're making more money Think that we were previously. We'll find out in a second. Say first. No profits, even less. <laughs> but it's taking into our expense. Uh, taking into account our expenses for building. So if I just don't build, it should help. But I'm hoping that uh, getting into a state. What's that person complaining of? Saying they, they can't use the toilet. Alright, yeah. Let's see, the toilets are there. People are still waiting. Waiting for wine. Oh, it's delivered. Not... And they're wanting more wine. I'll refrain from comment. <laughs> Be hiding it under the sink and all sorts of stuff. And you can see there, look. The price is going down again. I don't know why. Fries, nuggets and wine. We're making most money off the wine. But I mean, I can't really lower the price any further. 
Hmm. Curious. There we go. So there's all of the windows done. But what else can I place? Maybe not too sure. I think we'll have a month of just not spending and see how close we get to that hard scenario. So there's income is 886, expenses 622. Bear in mind that also classes as staff, with staff is 50 each. But I'm not going to spend because I want to see if we can get how close we can get to that. And there's a queue forming. And then the queue goes up massively. That's weird. I mean, I could just knock the price up by one each and that'll just stop the queue, basically. It seems to fluctuate between nobody's turning up <laughs> or there's a massive queue. But we are now starting to make profit, but we're only halfway through the month. So, not really too sure what I can do to improve it. The queue's now slowly going down, you see. Yeah, and then there's it. There is it. Yep, just no. There's now no people turning up. Hmm. I've reduced the fries down, but keep the others at, a, at the increased inflated price. Just to see if that helps. Hmm. Doesn't seem to. Still got people coming through, but no one here like before. So again, we'll have to reduce it down. I'll drop the nuggets down and keep the wine at the same. Maybe that's all they're coming for, the cheap wine. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're just coming for the cheap wine. So, I'm not really too sure what else we can do. I would have thought that you've been able to build, but obviously not. Can't, uh, and can you go up another story? No, we can only have two stories. That's understandable. Um, but I'm not really too sure what else I can do to improve this. Hmm. Okay then. Uh, oh, we do need to paint the walls upstairs actually. To be fair, I don't think it alters. No, it, it just it physically changes the look of it. But it doesn't do anything in terms of decor like that. But, you know, we are trying to make it like downstairs. And we've still got reviews coming in. I also haven't put the flooring in as well. The flooring is a different. It's, what flooring is it? The tiles? Yeah, it's the tiles. So I'll put the tiles in. And there's the long queue farming again. But if, if as soon as I knock a price up, it's going to be silly. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just put, I'll put the wine up by one. No, we've seen previously that putting the wine up by one does not work. They're wanting cheap wine. Uh, that's why they come here, apparently. <laughs> what was our profit for last time? I didn't catch it. But there's the queue. So altering the chicken doesn't seem to have done anything. So we're getting more for the chicken. I'll put the chicken up a bit more. I'm not going to touch the wine though. Because every time I do that... Oh, there you go. No, nope, there's the critical mass. Uh, I'll have to put the chicken down by one. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we're just into positive now. Just putting this flooring in. And in here too. And some of those toilets are filthy. At least the staff do come and clean them. And we're up to October. And I think that's about right for flooring. There we are. There's all the flooring. Alright, so we've got all the flooring in, we've got all the walls in, and we are still not making much cash. There you go, there's loads of people just not there. As soon as I alter the price of anything, 
like that, it uh, they, they turn up, and then if I put it up by one, they just turn around and go away. So I'm not too sure what I can do to improve that. Either way, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of tastemaker. And I don't know whether I want to struggle on looking at the... I'm not too sure what I'll struggle on looking at the other five star and trying to get that or declare victory and move on. We said at the start we're going to look for the medium, but we've managed to get two out of the three ratings, so that's good enough. Either way, we'll leave it there, and next episode we'll see, as always, good grief, look at that queue. I wonder if I just go, like, just, is this the way to do it? Just max the prices out like that. <laughs> and yes, nobody will turn up for that, but the ones we've just, ones that have just come in, will they, will they be, uh, Happy about it? No, no, they're, they're really not happy about it. Let me just uh, knock that nugget back down to uh, 21. And the wine back to the 15. So, yeah, because there's no customers. Oh, I've still got 10. I've still got 10. Um, I wonder how much we make on this one. How much will we make? If the profit's over 400, I'll be happy. 201 brilliant okay we'll leave it there for this episode and uh, next one we'll either try to get the extra rating or we'll move on to the next map either way hope you have enjoyed a bit of taste maker and hopefully it's been a fairly chill one for you as always comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>